Nestled in the Rheingau, near the town of Kiedrich and the Rhine River, is the Eberbach Monastery. Now a historical site, it is the best preserved Middle Ages monastery in Germany. Wine has been produced here for hundreds of years, first by the monks, now by a state wine institute. Cistercian monks once walked this enclosed quadrant around the cloister garden, their heads bowed in silent prayer. The cloister dates from the 13th and 14th centuries. Along the walls are ancient gravestones. After the move away from church authority in the 1800s, the monastery was closed and plundered. Gravestones were used for paving roads. Now they are slowly being restored. The basilica is 250 feet long and was constructed from 1145 to 1186. Due to its amazing acoustics, Many concerts are performed here. In the Middle Ages, these walls rang with the monks' Gregorian chants. The Cistercian order was a silent order, and although they were not allowed to speak, they could sing God's praises. Today, it's no longer a Catholic church, but occasional services are held here. The monks' dormitory is connected to the church by a stairway. It is here that many of the scenes from the movie The Name of the Rose, starring Sean Connery, were shot. In the Middle Ages, as many as 150 monks slept here on the stone floor with no blankets, only straw mats. In those days, there were no windows and the room was not heated. The average lifespan for a monk at that time, 27 years. In the wine cellars of the monastery, wine tastings by candlelight are a very popular attraction. Construction of this room was finished in 1250 and first used as a workroom for the monks. In the 15th century, it became a wine cellar. The cellar was called the Cabinet, and thus the Eberbach Monastery is the birthplace of the wine quality description Cabinet. A room in the cellar with an alarm system and locked iron gate contains precious bottles of wine going back to 1706. The monastery is open daily all year, with shorter hours in the winter months, you can walk the grounds at no charge and there is a small fee to enter the complex. English language audio guides are available, as are individual and group tours. The Eberbach Monastery, nine centuries of monastery and wine estate history. Camera and video production by Chris Knobloch. Our thanks to the Eberbach Monastery Foundation for their support. I'm Gary Valtel.